Good day, I'm Tamar McHale and this is your GIS News for Monday, June 15. The results for the 2015 Grade 6 Achievement Test GSAT will be released this Wednesday. All regional offices should have the results on Wednesday afternoon and the Education Ministry says principals can begin collecting their packages at 2 p.m. The Ministry says this is being done to facilitate easy access and to ensure parents and students know their placements quickly. Over 38,000 students sat this year's Grade 6 Achievement Test. Recently, Education Minister Reverend Ronald Thwaites announced that students who were not placed in a school of their choice would be assigned to an institution close to home. Jamaica is a step closer to fully completing the International Migration and Development Policy and the Diaspora Policy. Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade State Minister Arnaldo Brown gave an update at the opening ceremony of the 6th Biennial Diaspora Conference now underway in Montego Bay, St. James. More from Andrea Chisholm. The completion of the two policies was a major action item coming out of the previous Diaspora Conference in 2013. Those talks have yielded results. The International Migration and Development Policy was approved by Cabinet for tabling in Parliament as a green paper pending two amendments. The revised document was resubmitted with an accompanying cabinet submission in May 2015. Work is also progressing on the National Migration Database to record and track migration trends. The diaspora policy, meanwhile, is being refined for submission to cabinet. Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller said the policy, which was developed in conjunction with members of the diaspora, would maximize their contributions to Jamaica while addressing their concerns. The diaspora policy will also focus on engaging our people overseas in key areas of social and economic policy planning, including the National Economic Growth Agenda. Now, over the next few days, participants will be updated on investment opportunities in key growth sectors such as agriculture, tourism, and business process outsourcing. There will also be an inaugural symposium on immigration and deportation, which is a major concern to members of the Jamaican diaspora. Reporting from Montego Bay, I am Andrea Chisholm for GIS News. Meanwhile, the Diaspora Education Task Force, which was established after the 2013 conference, has begun to yield results. As a result of this initiative, the task force, in collaboration with the United uh, States Agency for International Development, has secured 250,000 United States dollars that will see the training and the enhancements in literacy and numeracy. The Diaspora Education Task Force comprises individuals from the United States, Canada and the United Kingdom. Following an education summit in February, the task force is currently working on a six-year plan to transform Jamaica's education sector. And through the establishment of an advisor body in the Ministry of Health, diaspora medical missions are being streamlined. 53 families of Braco and Northern Trelawney are the proud recipients of keys to new housing units provided on the government's collaborative housing project with Food for the Poor Jamaica. The Braco residents got their keys during a recent ceremony. They are among more than 2,000 families across the island who have benefited under the housing program so far. We have built over 2,400 houses so far. That partnership sees a unit costing 6,400 US dollars to which Food for the Poor through their donors have contributed a half, 3,200 US dollars and the government of Jamaica, 3,200 US dollars for each unit that is built. Each house has a comfortable living space, bed and bathrooms and a kitchenette. They're all solar powered. Local entrepreneurs are being encouraged to take advantage of new and emerging opportunities in the gaming industry. Representatives from the Betting, Gaming and Lotteries Commission, BGLC, say several opportunities now exist in the industry as technology continues to change the face of gaming in Jamaica. They were guests at a recent GIS think tank. This is how we see our industry making that leapfrog forward to be in line with the cutting edge of gaming in Jamaica. Business prospects and other issues will be discussed at the second annual BGLC Gaming Industry Summit, which will be held this Thursday, June 18 at the Jamaica Conference Center. People should come to this summit because if you have issues, it's, you know, this is your opportunity to voice it. 
People who want to attend the summit can register by emailing the BGLC at info at bglc.gov.jm or by calling 6301353. And finally, Governor General Sir Patrick Allen is urging St. Catherine residents to work with the newly installed custos of the parish. I fervently encourage you to work within your communities, to collaborate with your justices of the peace, your custos, and the security forces to reverse the alarming rate of crime and violence which seeks to besmirch this beautiful parish. The Governor General was speaking at the recent installation ceremony for Reverend Jeffrey McKenzie. Sir Patrick also used the occasion to issue the magistrate's role with the names of the parish's 612 justices of the peace. And that's it for GIS News today. I'm Tamara McHale. Thank you for watching.